hello everyone you are welcome in this video i'm going to solve and find the value of this beautiful exponential math problem without using a calculator and without any standard multiplication so how can we solve this math problem here first of all we can write this 16 as 16 can be written as 2 times 2 which is 4 4 times 2 is 8 and 8 times 2 is 16 so here 2 is 4 times so we can write this as 2 raised to power 4 in exponential form and we can also write 64 as 2 times 2 is 4 4 times 2 is 8 8 times 2 is 16 16 times 2 is 32 32 times 2 is 64 so here 2 is 6 times so we can write this as 2 raised to power 6 now here we will replace these two numbers with these two exponential values so this number will become is equal to 64 is 2 raised to power 6 whole raised to power 4 minus 16 is 2 raised to power 4 whole raised to power 4 now here in these two terms we will use an exponential identity and we multiply the powers with each other so here in this step we will use this one exponential identity a raised to power n whole raised to power n which can also be written as a raised to power m times n so using this exponential identity here this number will become 2 raised to power 6 times power is 24 minus and this will become 2 raised to power 4 times power is 16 so next we can write these two powers as 2 raised to power 24 can be written as 12 times 2 which is 24 minus 2 raised to power 16 but 16 can be written as 8 times 2 which is 16 now here in these two numbers in these two terms we will use again this one exponential identity and we will change these two numbers from this one form to this one form so this number will become 2 raised to power 12 whole raised to power 2 minus and this will become 2 raised to power 8 whole square look into both the numbers here both the numbers are in square form a square minus b square so here we will use an algebraic identity a square minus b square algebraic identity so here in this step we will use this one algebraic identity a square minus b square which is equal to a minus b times a plus b so using this identity here our a is 2 raised to power 12 and our b is 2 raised to power 8 so this number and this equation will become this will become 2 raised to power 12 minus 2 raised to power 8 times 2 raised to power 12 plus 2 raised to power 8 now here in this we will try to find out the value of 2 raised to power 8 and 2 raised to power 12 so here first we will find out the value of 2 raised to power 8 so therefore we can add this 2 raised to power 8 as this means we have to multiply this to 8 times so let's multiply to 8 times 2 times 2 is 4 4 times 2 is 8 8 times 2 is 16 16 times 2 is 32 32 times 2 is 64 64 times 2 is 128 128 times 2 is 256 1 2 3 4 5 take 6 7 8 so multiplying 2 8 times it is 256 now we will find out the value of 2 raised to power 12 so therefore we can write 2 raised to power 12 as 2 raised to power 10 times 2 raised to power 2 now here 2 raised to power 10 multiplying to 10 times like this it gives him 1024 which is the very famous number times and 2 raised to power 2 is simply 4 so let's multiply these two numbers 4 times power is 16 6 will be carried 4 times 2 is 8 8 plus 1 is 9 4 times 0 is 0 and 4 times 1 is 4 so here so, so this is 4 so the value of 2 raised to power 12 is 4096 so here we will replace these two numbers in this equation with these two values so this will become the value of 2 raised to power 12 is 4096 minus the value of 2 raised to power 8 is 256 times 
the value of 2 raised to power 2 is 4096 plus the value of 2 raised to power 8 is 256 then we will subtract and add these two numbers so this will become first we will subtract these two numbers so 6 minus 0 is simply 0 9 minus 5 is 4 0 minus 2 is not possible so 4 to minus 2 gives him 38 so their subtraction gives him 3840 times now let's add these two numbers 6 plus 6 is 12 so 2 1 will be carried 5 plus 9 is 14 14 plus 1 is 15 so 5 1 will be carried 2 plus 0 is 2 2 plus 1 is 3 so this will become 3 and this is 4 so this gives him 4352 here we will try to multiply these two numbers without any calculator and without any standard multiplication. So how can we multiply these two numbers? So for that we will chain this number having three non-zero digits to the place value of these non-zero digits. And then we multiply this number with each number here. So therefore we can write this first number as the sum of three place value of three which is three thousand plus the place value of 8 which is 800 plus the place value of 4 which is 40 and the place value of 0 is 0 times this one number 4 3 5 2 and we multiply this number with each number here so first we multiply this number with 3000 then with 800 and then last with 40 so we will multiply these numbers here so this will become 3000 times this one number 4352 plus no 800 times this one number 4352 plus 40 times this one number 4352 so here you multiply these numbers with each other and then last we will add the result so we multiply these two numbers so this is very easy here this number times 0 is 0 this number times 0 is 0 this number times 0 is 0 and this number times 3 is we have to multiply this number with 3 so let's multiply 3 with this number it is very easy 3 times 2 is 6 3 times 5 is 15 so 15 5 1 will be carried 3 times 3 is 9, 9 plus 1 is 10, so this is 0, 1 will be carried, 3 times 4 is 12, 12 plus 1 is 13, so this gives him 13 million 56 thousand, plus now we multiply these two numbers, so again it is very easy, this number times 0 is 0, this number times 0 is 0, this number times 8 is, we have to multiply this number with 8, so let's multiply 8 with this number, so 8 times 2 is 16, 6, one will be carried at time 5 is 40 40 plus 1 is 41 so 1 4 will be carried at time 3 is 24 24 plus 4 is 28 so this will become 8 2 will be carried at time 4 is 32 32 plus 2 is 34 so this will become 4 3 now the product of these two numbers gives him 3,481,600 plus let's multiply these two numbers so again this number times 0 is 0 this number times 4 is we have to multiply 4 with this number 4 times 2 is 8 4 times 5 is 20 so 0 2 will be carried 4 times 3 is 12 12 plus 2 is 14 so 4 will be carried 4 times 4 is 16 16 plus 1 is 17 so here the product of these numbers gives him 174,080 now finally we will add all of these three numbers so that will be our final answer to add these three numbers we will start from the ones position so let's start from the ones position 0 plus 0 plus 0 is simply 0 no 8 plus 0 is 8 8 plus 0 is 8 0 plus 6 is 6 and 6 plus 0 is 6 so this is 6 4 plus 1 is 5 5 plus 6 is 11 so 1 1 will be carried to the next digit next is 7 7 plus 1 is 8 8 plus 8 is 16 16 plus 5 is 21 so 1 2 will be carried to the next number now 1 plus 2 is 3 3 plus 4 is 7 7 plus 0 is 7 comma now next is 3 3 plus 3 is 6 and next is 1 
So here the addition of all of these three numbers gives him 16,711,680. So finally 16,711,680 is our answer and value of this beautiful exponential math problem.